about to do um, a craft project. Well, we're going to do two craft projects. One that Nixon is going to complete and one that I'm going to complete. Yeah. So, Nixie, what are you going to make today? And He's going to decorate an M. And you're making a pom-pom hat. A pom-pom hat. Not quite a pom-pom hat, but we're making a juju hat. Something, um, kind of a statement interior piece that I've always wanted, but they're pretty spendy. So, I thought I would give it a shot and make my own one. Nixie, what are you going to do? Decorate your end with today. Show me your feathers. What have we got? Cool. So Nixon um, is going to decorate a Kaisercraft um, wood block in with some colourful feathers. We're going to use a low temperature hot glue gun for him. And then I am going to make, I'm going to try and make a Gigi hat. So I've got all my equipment here, which will be listed in the blog. But I guess the main piece that is going to hold everything together is this wooden round placemat from Kaisercraft, which I picked up from Spotlight on sale for $3.49, I think. So that is our backbone of this project. And all of these feathers, I've got so many different kinds. Oh, um, sharing. Would you want to share these? What about these beautiful ones? Mine are boring white colours. Yeah, that looks good, Nix. Perfect. So just a little note because these two types of hot glue guns, which the I hair, really... The hair glue. Hair glue, no, we don't use hair glue guns, but um, there's low temp and high temp ones. And when you're working with feathers, the high temp That'll one is going to be fine if you're just gluing the shaft. But a hot temp glue gun could possibly melt the feathers. So when you were getting to the middle of the juju hat and you might be gluing feathers on top of feathers, um, probably better to use a low temp one. So this little pink guy here that Nixon and I are going to use is the Crafter's Choice Low Temp glue gun. Can I put some glue on? Okay, so Nixon is hard at work with his project. Um, Dave's supervising him with the glue gun, which even though it's low temp, is still okay. really hot. So. Mm -hmm. Might need some adult help there. So we're going to get started with our Kaiser Wood placemat. Um, but we don't want to just stick our feathers flat on the surface. We want them. To, we want to create a really concave um, piece of art so when it hangs on the wall it's going to stand out. So I had to think about this and in order to create that effect I'm going to start with a ostrich feather boa and stick that on oh. around the edge. I didn't know how it actually. Yeah, okay? You stick that on around the edge um, so on. that when we put our big single feathers on, it's really going to encourage them to pop up. So let's see how that goes. <laughs> so Nixie's finished his project. Whoa. He has decorated. <laughs> He's decorated his end and he decided to do it on both sides with the awesome colourful feathers that we found, eh? Cool. So he's going to um, he's going to go and take this and proudly display his artwork in his bedroom and we'll get keep going with our juju hat. So as I mentioned, one thing that I really want to do is make this a really concave, very full looking juju hat. So um, to help us create that, Feathers are naturally kind of bowed in one direction. So instead of sticking them on this way, I'm going to turn them around and actually use the underside, which is color-wise slightly more um, a bit subdued, which works anyway. So that's going to really help create the bowl effect that I'm looking for with this project. <laughs> one is done um, it's actually looking really cool I'm really excited so I've put on all I'm gonna call these guys my feature feathers but a lot of juju hats don't have feathers like this they'd just be single color or sort of dappled white with some beige so just whatever really works for your decor okay so when I'm looking at it it's quite it's a little bit gappy around the exterior which I want to fill in a bit so to do that I'm going to use um, 
the cheapest feathers that I found at Spotlight, which are from the Clubhouse range. So these are turkey feathers. So I'm going to use two feathers on each of the quills. And I'm going to glue them like that on each one, just to fill in those spaces around the outside a bit more. on to the next step of our project and what I'm using here is this really cool product um, these are marabou stalk feathers and they've been pre-sewn onto a satin ribbon so I'm just moving around the juju hat base in a circular motion and just gluing these strips on just to fill out the juju hat and create some more volume <laughs> round of the marabou ribbon feathers applied so our hole in the middle is getting a little smaller we've still got to keep going because I've got lots of different feathers and I want to use them all to create you know increased volume and lots of um, different detail I'm actually going to use um, some feathers that I found in the millinery section so this is where if people are making hats to go to the races. Oh, what are they? Fascinators. Fascinators. So I went to the fascinator department and um, the millinery department is what it's really called. And I found these goose feathers. So they come eight in a pack. So I grabbed, I think I've got three packs of these. So I'm going to do a layer of goose feathers just over the top of those satin that satin ribbon. So I've just done a round of the millinery feathers and things are looking good. 